Hey y'all, today I'm going to be running you through how I built a multi-agent that connects through OpenAI's ChatGPT that allows me to not only review what's on my calendar, add items to my calendar, be able to search for social media content ideas, and even post those to social media, and I can even have a built-in approval process going to LinkedIn, Facebook, and Instagram. So that sounds interesting. Let's get into it, shall we? All right, so right here we have the manager agent GPT that I have hooked up through here, and I can show you exactly how I did this, but let's get started with the demo. I go, uh, what is on my calendar for the day? And right now it's going to be checking. It's going to be going through. I'm going to hit always allow here, in it in, and that's going to go and check my calendar for events. And here are my calendar events. You can see this social and media content creation here and then call Lars at three o'clock. And if we look at the calendar, uh, there is make content at 1.30 and call Lars at three. Now, if we want to add things to the calendar, all we have to do is say, uh, please add a, a book demo event at 5 p.m. to the calendar. It's now reconnecting and there it is. Book the demo at 5 p.m. That is set up. Now, what happens if we want to research content and make content? So let's just Let's add this in here and let's ask a question. Uh, what are the three top pieces of news for today in AI? All right, we can see that there's perplexity, a uh, proposed merger with TikTok. There's some other ones. Okay, so let's just say we like this one right here. So I just put, can you send this to be turned into content for social media? I'm gonna hit paste, hit enter, and I'm gonna show you exactly what happens here. Now you can see over here, and I have a video that I'm gonna to link to exactly how to do this. Inside of Make, this is taking a webhook from one of the agents and it's sending it across and turning it into a drafted Facebook post, creating an Instagram image right now and a post, and then it's gonna be turning that over and the next step is turning it into a LinkedIn post. And there is the LinkedIn post. And if we check this document right here, uh, we can see that this has just got created. We can tell that there is a groundbreaking merger between Perplexity and TikTok. We have another one for the digital frontier for Instagram and one for LinkedIn. All we need to do to really add these into the system, just so you can see it happening right now, is there's an approval process that I've built in to go to Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. All we need to do is hit this approval process, type in Y right here, and if we go here, we can see that that's gone off. That's made the Facebook post. That is done. Let's say we didn't want to post on Instagram, but instead we wanted to post here on LinkedIn when we could look at this and go, okay, bold move in the digital world. And we'll, we'll just change this so you can see. Let's go, it's a bold move, go, this is a, a bold move. Just like that, and we say, okay, that looks good. All we need to do here is make sure that this is on and running. We're gonna wait for some new data. And I'm gonna hit yes. And you can see this is going to now go across, go to LinkedIn, and boom, and that is done. And we can go ahead and check LinkedIn and Facebook. And we can see here on LinkedIn, here it is, ready to go. And if, let's go ahead and check Facebook, and here it is on Facebook. If you want to see exactly how to make this social media creation system on Make, I'm going to link that into the video right now, so you can go check out that video. Besides that, let's get on with the rest of it so I can walk you through exactly how this system is built. So this first gets connected up here to this manager agent in an NAN. And the way that we have this going in is we have this being webhooked through. We have a webhook in here that we're, what, that we're utilizing. You can see the webhook to be able to have the incoming data come in. The way that we're sending this through to OpenAI, and I'm gonna show you exactly how this GPT is made. If we go to edit GPT, you can see here, uh, looking at the instructions, uh, I'd put it inside the exact webhook that we're connecting over here to this manager agent inside of here. And what I'm doing here is that when, when is search to ask? send or retrieve calendar information or events, and send content to be turned into social media posts. So it's got that general instructions. And then inside at the bottom, we have all of the capabilities turned on, which is great. We can search through the internet. We can have the ability to make images here and all that fun stuff. But what I really have going on here is this action schema. This action schema, you can take a look at this. This is what we're having as a schema to be able to send through. And we're using this production URL to be able to send off these endpoints. And here is all of the information inside of here that you can utilize. I actually have a previous video uh, that shows you uh, how to make these action schemas. I believe it's linked up in there. Or you can use as an action schema GPT. I think if you search for that inside of OpenAI, you can get access to making one of these as well. 
but they're pretty simple. You put this action schema in place. We have this hooked up to here, and now we have this going through and connected to a couple of different elements. We're using OpenAI's GPT-40 here for memory. I see GPT-40. We're using a simple chat memory like this. And then we are hooking it up to uh, a social media agent, which is more of an automation that I show you how to build in that previous video. And inside of here, we can say, just call this tool to run, to turn content into social media posts so that the agent knows what it's doing. And then we want to make sure also that we're connecting it up to our agent, which is in another, uh, another workflow. And then the last agent we have inside of here is a calendar agent. It says, call this tool to send and retrieve calendar information or events. And we have the main agent in here is we have a prompt for it because the secret sauce is in the prompt and you can see what this is. Uh, we go through, explain who it is, describes the tasks, the guidelines, list the sub agents, right? We have the calendar agent and the tool to receive and send calendar events and then a social media agent as well. So this is the prompt that we're using. If we look at the social media agent, this is just simply an automatic trigger that gets sent through to make. And if I open this up right here, we have this make hook and that make web hook comes right into here. And there's a video exactly on how to make this on my channel that you can go watch how to make part A and part B of this social media content creation approval system. The last actual agent that we have built inside of here is this calendar agent that we're bringing in from this execute workflow. We can look at the prompt inside of here and it talks about an understanding we added in the variable for now. Talks about how if you want to be able to create a event, it says if the end date isn't specified for the event, assume it will be a 60 minutes long. Use this tool if there is no attendee specified. Create an event with an attendee. If an end date isn't specified for the event, assume it will be 60 minutes long and use this tool when an attendee is specified. Get an event. Use this tool to get events from certain days and summarize them. That is exactly the three different tools that this agent has access to, right? It has access to the intelligence with OpenAI, get events, create events, and create events with attendees. And this is a get event button. So if we open these up, we can see what we're using is we're using the, the, the variable prompt inside of here. If we open up this expression at this JSON, which is from AI one day before, and then the description. And that's what that's how we're going to be calling it. And that's what this system needs. In order to put in an after, you know, after 3 p.m. before 4 p.m. would make a 3 to 4 p.m. event. This JSON token entry from AI allows it to know, oh, this is where I'm going to be putting in the time and it understands the description. So you always want to give what is the value, right? What's the key? And then what's the description? All right. So now that we, we have that, that is how the system works for creating the events. The only thing else that you're going to want to do is if you're going to hook this up for this calendar events, is you want to make sure that you can go into a thing called Google Cloud. And I'm going to walk you through how this would work for making a, a login credentials for the system. So let's just say we wanted to log in here and we wanted to create another calendar event or another calendar credentials. Uh, we need to be able to put in a client ID and a client secret. The way that we do that is we go over here to Google Cloud, go to the console. You're going to want to sign in, and then you're going to click on New Project. You want to give this new project a name, and let's give it a new name, and we're going to call this uh, Calendar System Agent. Hit Create. Once this is created here on the right, we're going to want to select that project. Now that we select this project, we're going to go over here to the hamburger. We're going to scroll down here to the API services library, and we go to this library and we're going to type in calendar. Click on this calendar API. We're going to want to enable this. And then we're going to go to OAuth and consent. We're going to click on external, click create app name. We're going to put in calendar system agent. And then we're going to want to make sure that we have in the user's email. And we're going to put in the developer's contact email, which is probably the same. Click continue. We don't need anything else inside of here, so we can hit save and continue, save and continue. We don't need anything else on test users, and we go back to dashboard. Now we really want to make sure that we publish this app by clicking this button, publish app, click confirm. Then we go to credentials, create credentials, and then we're going to want to create an OAuth client ID. 
click web application, give it a name, calendar system agent. And then right here, the URIs, we're going to click on that to add it. And the, what we're going to do here is we're going to go over here. When we're connecting these credentials, we're going to copy this link just like this. Paste this in. Click create. And this is where we're going to grab the client ID and client secret. I'm going to copy this. Once you paste in the credentials right into here, the client ID and the client secret ID, all you click is click to sign in, allow access, and you have that green mark, and that means it's connected. So as a quick review, you're going to want to go into the manager agent GPT, add in the action schema just like this. You're going to want to then hook that up to your manager agent over here through the webhook using these prompts. And then you can hook up the OpenAI intelligence, the chat memory, the social media agent, and the calendar agent, and then this respond to webhook. And then you're going to create these two automated flow here, go into make.com. And then this right here, this agent that will be able to get and send events. If you hook all that stuff up, you should be good to go. All right, y'all, that was a quick run through of the system. Hopefully you found it to be interesting. I didn't want this to be too long of a video. So I want to make sure that you can kind of get a high level view of this whole system. If you got any comments or questions, or if you want me to do a more exact in-depth tutorial step-by-step, step, let me know. I'll be happy to make it for you. Otherwise, I hope you like and subscribe to this video if you found it to be valuable. And if you want me to build something for you just like this, I'll have a link to book me in the description down below. Have a blessed day, everybody. Much love, and I'll see you on the other side. Bye now.